Greetings, fabulous, fantastic faculty. This is Ben Whitmore in eLearning, and today I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of creating group sets in Canvas and some examples of what that student experience looks like. So the quickest and best way to go ahead and create your group sets is to start in People. So in your course, go into People, and on the right-hand side you'll click Plus Group Set. This brings up a few different options. And like we discussed earlier in this module, groups are a great, fantastic way to give your students an online space to collaborate, whether it's in a discussion board or in a, you know, a different type of project. But what it does is it allows them to communicate within their groups and it allows them to create and build in this separate space as well. So once we go into create group sets, we can give it a name. So usually you base it around the project. Um, just go ahead and give it a name and then you have some options here you can allow students to sign up to their own groups or you can split the groups automatically or you can create groups manually yourself or have um, canvas divide it into your students into specific groups and like we discussed in this module you know smaller groups generally work better because there's a higher amount of accountability so two to four students works well so divide your groups up and then you also have the ability to select a group leader We'll go ahead and automatically assign that, and I'll kind of show you what that means. So Canvas goes ahead and divides up your class. And we don't have a lot of students in this test class, but we can kind of look here. We give the group set name and then a number. So if it's final presentation, we go all the way through the number of students. And then we can see which students, by clicking this drop down, we can see which students are in that, in that group. And then if you don't like the pairings, you can go ahead and drag them around. Now we have Skitch and Test Student together. Right now, Skitch is the leader in the group, and the group leader role allows students to have a few other, few other roles and a few other options than when they're not the group leader. For instance, if there's a student that just isn't vibing well or isn't working in the group, they can actually kick that student out of the group and have them go into another group. Um, if you don't want to give that role to your student, make sure you don't allow that option when you sign up and create your group sets. So now I think we'll keep Skitch as our group leader. He's a great student. And I'm going to bring in this other student for this group here. Basically from this point you've created your group set and now you can attach this to an assignment. And there'll be more details of that within our, our module. I'll have a lot of specific options for you. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the student experience looks like. Now the student, if they've been placed into a group, they have a new category here called groups. So you can go, the student can go ahead and click that, and then all of their options will come up here of groups that they are in. Now what this is, is this is its own Canvas instance for their specific group. And they have full control over creating pages, announcements, discussions, and sharing files back and forth, and even collaborations. So they can look at the people in their group as well, they can see who their instructor is. They can look at their group members. They can send announcements, just like you would in a normal class. And this, all of this information only goes to the specific students in that group. And they can start discussion boards, just like you would. So they kind of have the teacher role, the editor role. And I've seen a lot of instructors use this student group to allow students to create pages. So they can create a content page, and this allows them to you know, create a published document Instead of just submitting an essay, maybe they want to submit an infographic or some images to associate with that essay. So it's more of a published piece. So that's a little bit about the, the student view in groups. And further on in this page and in this module, you get a lot of specific information from the Canvas guides that will give you a little more insight into the different intricacies that go on in groups. But for now, thanks a lot. We'll see you later in the module.